Hello, my name is Pugzilla, and this is a recreation of my deadlock texture change tutorial. Here I'll be showing you how to do recolors, specifically. So, with your deadlock tools open, let's click create add-on. And let's name it whatever we want. I'll be naming it Purple Geist. Because for my example, I'll be recoloring Geist a little bit. So let's find the add-on we just created. Hit Explore Content Folder. That will pull up the content folder for the add-on we just created. We'll want to populate this with the file structure that leads to your model in-game. So let's open Source 2 Viewer. Navigate to your deadlock, your Game Citadel Pack 01. Then to Models. Whichever model you're changing. Mine is a hero, so I'll go to heroes underscore work in progress, Geist, materials, and I'll see all of Geist's textures in VMATs that make the hero look like what they do. So, I'll be changing her clothes, so I'll find Geist clothes, and I'll see Geist clothes color VTEX. If you click on that, you'll see it's the color texture for the hero or material. To export that, well, first of all, you'll want to recreate the file structure that you see in Source 2 Viewer. So, for example, the file path to Geist is Models, Heroes Work in Progress, Geist, Materials. So, we'll want to recreate that, recreate that in the add-on. So, Models, Heroes Work in Progress. Geist materials. From here, we'll want to decompile and export the VMAT of the character. So, I want to be changing Geist Close, so I'll right click on Geist Close VMAT, decompile and export. I'll want to export that to my new created newly created materials in my add-on. That looks right. And I'll hit save to export that to my folder. Once it says export completed, you're good to close that. Now, minimizing source to viewer, we can see that we have all of Geist's textures for her clothes. Now, from here, you could right click on your color PNG and open with it and open it with a color editing and editing software of your choice like Photoshop, GIMP, Krita, anything like that. But if you wish to see the changes you're making to the character, there's one more thing you can do. With Source 2 Viewer open, you can find the view model C. Right clicking on this and decompiling and exporting this as a GLTF to, let's say, a folder on your desktop will give you the all of these, all of the textures and the model for you to open in Blender and recolor to see how it looks as you wish. So, saying, seeing if, as, as if we did decompile and export Geist, I have the folder here. This is what it would look like. You would have the color for their head, their pistol, uh, body, stuff like that. Most importantly, you'll have the Geist GLTF, or whatever hero GLTF that you exported. If you open Blender, come up here to File, Import, GLTF, and you select that folder you exported, you can put that folder, the model, into Blender. Now, this might take a while, depending on the size of the model. And once it is in, you'll see an iconosphere object and something else. You can delete both of those, leaving just the view model. And you'll be left with these crazy looking bones. You can click on them and press H to hide them. And you'll be left with your model. Make sure up in the right, you have viewport shading on and you'll see all the textures. 
Now, I want to retexture Geist. So if I've done this, I can come over here to texture paint, have viewport shading enabled, and I can locate her clothes. Now from here, I could just color it in Blender like so, and we can see that reflected on the model. But if we're doing something a little more strategic, you could come up here to this button, unpack item, click on that, use from current directory, create when necessary, and it will create a folder with the color texture. If we wanted to edit this easily in Blender, you can come down to, if you, okay. If you have an editing software already, a photo editing software or an image editing software, you can come up to edit preferences at the bottom file paths, scroll down, open applications, and you can plug the location of your image editor into here. Doing so will allow you to hit image, edit externally, and that will open this image in your program. So, with your texture in your in your image editor of choice, I'll just you can change it how you wish. Uh, I'll just do a simple hue shift for the sake of this example to purple. I can export that. It's exported. Then if I come up to this folder and I double click on my image, the recolor should appear on my model and I can see how that looks. So I can close Blender knowing that my texture has been changed. I can see that my texture is here. Now I can copy that changed texture, throw it in here, and rename it to be the same as the original. Launch your tools. Come up here to the search bar and enter the name of the hero whose textures you are changing and you should see the tech the materials appear now now i can click here recompile full on the vmat and then you can come right click on it find file geist clothes vmat c or whatever hero you're changing and you can find the color vtex this is the compiled color image, color texture, that we've changed. You can copy that and leave everything else there. Or, to be a little quicker, you could go back in the folder directory up here and copy it from models. Now we'll be creating the add-on folder for the model for the texture change we've just created. I'll name it purple geist. And in here, I'll paste that file structure from models up to our materials. Now I'll delete everything but the color, leaving me with just hero color PNG vtex. Now, there's one last step we have to do to make it work in game. Open Source 2 Viewer Backup. Find the name of the color vtex that we originally changed in the files. Here we can see it's Geist Clothes Color PNG 7A91A619. And we'll want to rename our vtex the same. So, Geist Clothes Color PNG my numbers are wrong, so I'll want to rename it so those numbers match up. So let's see, it's 7 A 91 A 619. I think I got that right, let me double check. 7 A 91 A 619. Yep, that looks good to me. Now I can close that. I have my add-on folder 
with my compiled vtex in it, renamed the same as the one we see in-game. Click on File and Source to Viewer, Create VPK from Folder, right-click on New VPK, Add Existing Folder. Let's find the add-on folder we just created, and you'll see it appear in here. Now you can double-click and view it in Source to Viewer just to make sure your texture's there. Looks good to me. I can right click on new VPK, save VPK to disk, and you'll want to name it along this file naming structure. Pack, P-A-K, two numbers, up to 99, underscore D-I-R. It can be any numbers up to 99. For this example, I'll just be renaming my, I'll just be re-saving over my three, my pack three. I've saved it, I can close Source 2 Viewer, and there we have it. 